At this stage now, leave this because the emergency motion isn't an emergency, I can't take it. But I did want to debate it. And I think it's, it wouldn't show democracy a clean thing if the one person proposing the motion wasn't here to take it. So we leave it now and we just go back onto the agenda. Yeah, sorry? sorry? We, yeah. I'm going to make a suggestion. It might be helpful if Councillor Flynn is still in the building that you might go and sit down somewhere and talk to him for a few minutes and maybe we can deal with this at the end of the day. David, uh, um, no. can I just say this? Sorry, hang on, sorry. sorry. Can I, councillors, can I ask something, say something here? A lot of things have been tried to try and get this issue fairly, you know what I mean, without causing offence to people, and it hasn't worked. Can I, at this stage, in light of the fact that Councillor Flynn isn't here, I believe it would be wrong for us to proceed with his motion because we don't want to propose it, and therefore, can we move on with the agenda? Agreed? Councillor McGrath. Sorry, just before you finish, can I propose that we discuss this, as Manix asked, we discuss it at the next meeting, that this motion is, is, is discussed at the next council meeting? Yeah, and can I also ask, in the meantime, that no more defacing of the buildings on social media or websites, right, and to keep everything calm until the next meeting, and we'll put it on the agenda for the next meeting. Is, is that fair? Is that agreed with I would second Councillor McGrattan's proposals. So, uh, at a minimum, Councillor Flynn's existing motion, which is already on the floor, would be taken. If we're not going to make it at the next meeting, it will have to be taken under Lord Mayor's business at the next meeting so that we deal with and we it. Pour it. We put it on the agenda. Yeah. Right, so it'll be taken there. So that, it gets, that. that you get to it, yeah, thank you. Sir Flynn's consent. With his consent, otherwise we're taking a vote on it. Move on now. Item number two. Lord, 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 Item Lord, number two. Sorry, Lord, Lord Mayor, you can't move on when we, we... A number of suggestions have been made here to have me completely confused. First of all, this is uh, the strangest uh, beginning of a meeting that I've ever come across. Uh, I, I, I think it's been overhyped, uh, and I, I don't want to uh, accuse you uh, personally of doing that. There's loads of important items on this agenda, but yeah. we have agreed nothing here. Right? We have agreed nothing. There's been suggestions to bring it up and have a, uh, bring it forward for the next meeting. I think. I think it's where it is on the floor and it should be left there and there should be no special... Uh, Councillor Dunn, there was a proposal put forward by Councillor McGrattan that this be of a down as a night before the next agenda and then we would take at the same time as Lord Bear's business. That was seconded uh, by Councillor... Sorry? And I asked, has everyone agreed to that? And I got, yes. There was nothing agreed. Do you want to go to a vote on it then? Vote? What? Go for it, what are the two a vote? Can I ask for a point of clarification here? What is the standing order in relation to motions and the proposals of those motions? Because what, what, what the chair is proposing here is very coercive. You're going to be forcing proposals of motions to push the forcing anything. The you are, are what you're doing. Sorry, councillor, I'm not forcing anything. I haven't got the right to, nor the power to. It, one councillor made a proposal, it was seconded by a second councillor, and it's now going for a vote. And I think if that's a fair democratic way to do it. Agreed? Okay, we've got the vote now. Those in favour of Councillor McGrattan's proposal. But, you know, by, by that um, procedure, it would be possible for the council to arbitrarily decide to vote to remove somebody's motion from the floor entirely. I really think this idea that you can suspend standing orders yeah, and vote for absolutely it. anything is nonsensical. Point them to you, Deirdre. Question if 
People who know who can uh, propose are Councillor Jackson and uh, uh, Secondary Councillor McGinley. Uh, correspondence uh, from uh, Carlo County Council, Kerry County Council, and South Dublin County Council, respectively. Can I have a proposer, Councillor McAdam and Councillor Burke? Uh, uh, then we, uh, item number four, to confirm the minutes of the special meetings held on the 22nd of September, 23rd of September, the monthly meeting of the City Council held on the 3rd of October, 2016, Councillor McGrath and uh, uh, Councillor McCullough. Uh, so, uh, 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 report number uh, uh, 312 of the Head of Finance, Kate Quinn, monthly local fund statement. Kind of a proposer. Councillor uh, uh, O'Reilly and kind of a kind of a second or Councillor Jackson. Councillor O'Reilly. Uh, thank you, Lord Mayor. Uh, just two quick queries. Um, the first one is in relation. Oh, I'm just not there. Oh, did you try to?